Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. St. Peter Chrysologus, who is venerated as the doctor of hominids. His words help to defeat the attack on Christ's humanity. No doctor has said so much in his homilies in fewer words. In his sermons, he gives central importance to the mystery of the Incarnation, for which Mary, due her con to her conception and virginal birth, plays a very important role. St. Peter stated, that Jesus, in being born of Mary, did not diminish her virginal integrity, but consecrated it. He was the Bishop of Ravenna, which at that time was the capital of the West. It is reported that the Pope had a vision of St. Peter the Apostle and St. Apollinaris of Ravenna, the first bishop of that see, who showed Peter a young man the next bishop of Ravenna. When a group from Ravenna arrived, including Peter, the Pope recognized him as the young man in his vision and consecrated him as a bishop. St. Peter explained biblical texts briefly and concisely. In the history of the Church, there haven't been a lot of saints, a lot of other saints, let alone doctors of the Church, who were famed for brief sermons. At the Council of Ephesus, Mary's divine motherhood was dogmatically defined, and the doctrine of Nestorius, which refused to call the Virgin Mother of God, and denied the hypostatic union of the two natures, human and divine, in the one person of Jesus Christ, was declared heretical. In the following years, another Christological heresy arose, the monophysism of Eutychus, who was fallen into an error opposite to that of Nestorius, for he sustained in Christ the presence of the divine nature alone, and thus denying all the sufferings suffered by the Redeemer in the flesh. Eutychus appealed to Peter Chrysologus but failed in his endeavor to win the support of the Holy Bishop in the letter which the saint wrote in response to Eutychus. Peter admonishes Eutychus to accept the ruling of the Synod and to give obedience to the Bishop of Rome as the successor of St. Peter. According to him, the mystery of Mary's conception and childbirth becomes the category of interpretation for the mystery of the Church. Like Mary, the Church also is virgin and mother. She gives birth to her children through the sacraments. Thus she becomes a mother while remaining at the same time a virgin. The baptismal font becomes the womb of the Church, and thanks to, to the action of the Holy Spirit, it becomes fruitful. He also exhorted the faithful to frequent communion, saying, for example, Jesus is the bread sown in the Virgin, lived by in the flesh, molded in his passion, baked in the furnace of the sepulchre, placed in the churches, and set upon the altars, which daily supplies heavenly food to the faithful. Through the intercession of St. Peter Chrysologus, we want to ask for the grace of a great devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and the Blessed Virgin Mary, always faithfully attached to the true Catholic Church. May the holy names of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph be blessed, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.